is doing good and safe and in this video I thought I'll cover the administrator certification maintenance which I got a couple of months back and uh, the last date is you got plenty of time I think it's sometime in 2022 so I got some time today so I thought I'll finish this and also share it with you guys I already did it but I created a new playground to show to you guys how it works so this is mainly about I have opened it here this is mainly about these four section like sending a rich text email from the flow and improving navigation using the list split view and also about the recent changes in the opportunity deals and the main part important topic is the dynamic forms <coughs> because on this only we have a hands-on challenge so this becomes an important part so I just quickly glance through this section it, you know with the screenshot you can make out when you get time when you are doing you can go through this you'll understand it. it's pretty simple and this is about the split view in the screenshot they are showing the settings and this is about the deals and here we come to the dynamic forms so basically to explain you on a high level what it is if you have a lightning background or done some lightning work you will understand uh, better uh, basically when you open the lightning app builder uh, I, uh, to edit some page you can conditionally display some fields based on the condition you set on one of the other field so it's basically like you know you're conditionally displaying the rest of the fields suppose say you have a status is completed then show like when it is completed who completed it something like that so in this example they are <coughs> using some new car survey app which you will also be doing to get the credit of it like as a part of this not as access but just to get a hands-on feel on with this one I already did, did, did this but even in the challenge we'll be doing the same thing so I'll show you with another example what they have for us so this is what they have about laptop warranty I'll show you in a while how it works and uh, yeah this is a hands-on instructions for you to go through and understand step by step uh, when you're doing you can follow this and let's directly jump into this hands-on assignment so that you get a credit of 500 points and also get a new badge so I created a new playground I did it in a different one uh, with which I got the credit but since I'm retaking this challenge for to show it to you guys I created a new playground and let me launch it we'll keep coming to this tab basically for this piece of information so I'll show you how it is desired so let me close all of this so before that I think let me also show you um, laptop warranty I hope it's there if not we have to install the package which is being shown here okay let's go back a bit okay so this is the install package that we have to install which has the both laptop warranty as well as uh, this app what is this uh, new car survey app so we'll do only laptop warranty because that's what is required for completing the hands-on challenge this is just for your understanding okay so let's install this package it has instructions here if you want to follow and okay okay this is we can do it here I believe install a package and there is some ID which we have to copy and okay let's install this it says install it for admins let's do it as it says okay so as per 
this instruction we'll install it only for admins how do i do that go acknowledge and it's just giving this warning that's fine and it's installing to admins only it will take a couple of minutes okay i have skipped to this installation completion part so that you guys don't have to wait let me click done come here so this is okay I think yeah this is what they are talking about I did face this one in the first place so what they're saying is if you see this one error message try refreshing the page or opening the sales or service app where is it uh, let's me let me refresh this page first if it didn't open then I'll go back to sales or service app okay I think it's some cache issue let's see let me come back to okay so this is did switch from sales to service app and looks like now it's working so have the laptop warranties here okay and let me show all the records okay so we have some five records here and as per this challenge it says added key tunes we have to upgrade it first let's go back and open this guy I'll show you what upgrade means they're talking about upgrading the lightning app builder and if you come here go to the <coughs> lightning edit page <coughs> excuse me and once you come here just click on this section and you will get this pop-up upgrade now you can configure record detail section and fields right inside the lightning app filter upgrade to dynamic forms and start putting individual fields and sections anywhere on the page so that's what it's all about um, let's skip this and I'll select this laptop warranty layout and then save it so basically we are selecting this layout for the dynamic forms and now we will do the actual thing like adding the condition to the field and displaying it based on the field value okay let it load i don't know it's taking too long okay it has loaded now and let's go back to the instruction it says with the information section in the details tab change the format of table for that in the laptop warranty custom upgrade upgrade we have done to the dynamic forms and then this is the detail tab section okay let's change this one okay. here we have to select the column one basically it's about displaying the column in a sequence order like it this way uh, if you select two columns it will display on the both the sides if you're doing page layout <coughs> enhancements then you might know this setting anyway let's continue let's follow the instructions it says move the active warranty field to above the support level field okay active warranty above the support level here we go and we have support level and expiration date let's go and add a condition to the support level field and expiration date to appear only when active warranty field is checked okay let's go and select this one support level and add a filter and here go to advanced or uh, you don't need not have to go to advanced because we are setting on the active warranty which is equal to true let's click done this is done and i'll select expiration date and why it is not coming up support level it came yes and new field 
enter active warranty equal to true okay and now i will save it activate it and assign it as a org default and basically i'm setting this to both desktop and phone and review assignments and save it okay and let's go back or get out of the lightning app builder and see how this laptop warranty details comes up okay now you see you don't see the support level and uh, what is the other field expiration date so what i will do is i will edit this field check the warranty active warranty now you see support level and expiration date so gold and expiration date i'll set today and save it okay and now let me deselect this one and you see those two fields are gone and that's what this magic is all about and with this we have completed this hands-on challenge now let's go back and get the credit yes this is the new play uh, new play playground <coughs> which i used i will click to get the 500 points and a new badge i don't know this time i'll get a badge or not but at least it should show me a success message that i have completed this assignment or challenge Woohoo! <coughs> here we go okay with this i'll end my video hope this helped you anyway you have got a lot of time to finish this but anyway i thought i have some time so i thought i'll share it with you guys so do let me know in the comments how it helped you or if you have any questions i'll try to address it and um, that's all okay enjoy your rest of the day and see you in the next video bye bye